today's How to Build is on the show stage from Five Nights at Freddy's. Starting off, we're going to want to build a nice solid base for the stage. I used dark tan as my color because that way it contrasted nicely with Freddy's body. Um, however, you could use brown uh, or dark brown if you've got a lot of plates in those colors. Um, so the overall size here is that it is 16 studs from back to front and it is 36 studs from side to side. Uh, those of you who are super familiar with the dimensions of LEGO base plates will notice that this is just four studs wider than a 16 by 32 base plate. Why didn't I use a normal base plate size and have this other size? Well, because I was using these dark tan plates which come in sixes, uh, so 36 was easier than 32. And also I felt that this uh, stage width uh, got everything on without feeling too smushed. Um, Underneath, I've just got a layer of brick to connect everything. I'm using dark tan brick around the edges that are visible and just some light gray brick in the middle that you can't really see uh, just to kind of hold things together. Um, you could use whatever color you want on the inside since that's totally invisible. So go crazy with rainbow bricks. Okay, now that we've got a nice solid base, we're gonna start building up the back wall. I chose to build that wall in tan. That's the color the wall looks to me in the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 trailer. So that's what I chose to go with. McFarland Toys did theirs in light gray. So that's another wall color option. Um, and you can use kind of whatever color you think the wall should be. So you're gonna just do two layers of brick in whatever color you choose. Um, something to note here is that I'm doing this one wide, but if you don't have enough brick that's one wide, you could also do this as a two wide wall. Sometimes that's uh, easier to come by stuff in two wide than one wide. Uh, so two layers all the way across. For the next layer, we're gonna do, um, I'm using dark gray plates. Uh, you could use black if you think that's the color this stripe should be. Uh, I've also seen some fans uh, have it as red. Uh, looks dark gray to me, so that's what I'm doing. So one layer of dark gray plate all the way across. Next, we're gonna do the checkerboard pattern. So I've got a whole bunch of one by two bricks in black and white, and we're just gonna alternate those. So I've already set them into little groups of two bricks. So I can just go across nice and easy here, alternating the pattern. All right, now that we've completed that layer, uh, we're gonna add another layer of dark gray plate, or again, whatever color you think the stripe should be. Delicious. As we continue building up the wall, the next section will be five bricks tall. So if you've got some of these one by two by five bricks, or some of these uh, one by six by five panels. Uh, this one's from an Indiana Jones set. Uh, those are great to fill in this area nice and quickly so that you, you don't have to build a lot of individual bricks. So five layers of brick here or one layer of five bricks. Uh, now as we get to the next layers, things are gonna get a little bit tricky because we're gonna start having uh, places to attach bricks going on the side or forward in this case. So for this first layer, we're gonna do one normal brick. And then this is a one by four brick with four studs. You don't necessarily need that many studs. Uh, so if you've only got like a one by two with studs on the side, you could use that and some extra bricks here. Color really doesn't matter because this is gonna be totally hidden. I'm just choosing to use uh, the nougat color here. One by two brick, another one by four brick. Uh, filling in all the way down but skipping ahead to this side, we're gonna have one brick over there and a one by four brick. And then we'll just fill in the middle real quick. And I'm gonna drop bricks on the table. All right, on the next layer, we're gonna go from this side, we're gonna go in seven. So that's six, seven. And then we're gonna do another one by four brick with studs on the side. Then we're gonna go over three and then just do a one by one brick with one stud on the side. 
and uh, then just fill in the rest of that layer with kind of any old brick lengths. On the next layer up, we're going to go 16 plus 3 is 19, and then do our 1 by 4 there, which leaves 8, 12, 13 on the other side, depending which way you're counting from. So the next two layers will just be um, two layers of brick. No bricks with studs on the side to worry about. And then for the very top, do one by two on each side, then do our one by four bricks with stud on the side, and then fill in the middle with brick. So this is what it should look like. In total, this wall is 15 bricks and two plates tall. Uh, and again, it is 36 studs wide. Okay, now let's build some curtains. So we're gonna do two that are mirrored. So everything I'm doing here, you're gonna also wanna do backwards. So start by getting one of these gigantic wing plates. I'm using dark red. Dark red is a harder color to find though, so uh, red could also be an option here if you've got more of that. Um, and if you don't have a wing plate, you could just kind of uh, mimic the pattern here without maybe these uh, diagonal edges there to get a similar effect. So giant wing plate, uh, and then we're gonna do some one by six plates here, two of those. Uh, if you, the color of these really doesn't matter, they'll be hidden. I'm just using dark red to be consistent. And um, then take a four by six plate down here. Then we're gonna take yet another giant wing plate. And this one is going to be offset. Uh, so it is going to connect all of these pieces together by being one down from the top here and going one over onto that. Put a one by six plate up here to fill that in. I'm gonna fill this whole section down here that's three by five with some plate. Uh, three by five is an awkward amount of space to fill. So I've got a two by three, some corner plates, and a one by two and a one by one because dark red is a weird color. Um, so now that's looking pretty good. Now just to top it off, we're gonna do some tiles on here to kind of make it look like the curtains are all bunched up. So right here, we're gonna do one by two and a one by four. Hopefully hold that in place a little bit better. Uh, if you've got a one by six, that's delightful. Then I'm gonna use some regular red here, two one by twos. I didn't have a one by four, otherwise that'd be superior. Uh, going up this way, one by eight and uh, one by eight and then fill in some one by two, one by two, and one by one. And now you're gonna to wanna to make another one of those that's the exact opposite with those other type of wing plates. Um, and you'll have two really nice curtain pieces. Another thing you're gonna do is build two of these little things. So this is a one by four tile and uh, a one by four plate, or in my case, two one by two plates. So build two of those. To attach the curtains, we'll start with those one by four pieces we did and put them in the back corner of the stage on each side. Then we'll take this giant curtain piece and attach it to these uh, one by four bricks with stud on the side. So it should line up pretty much perfectly um, I made this wall be as tall as uh, these tiles are long, except for those two plates there, which equaled those two plates there. Um, there's some tricky Lego math happening there. Okay, now let's build some clouds. So gather up all of your white two by two round plates that you have, because you're gonna need a lot of them. Um, you could also use just regular white plates that aren't rounded but then they won't look as poofy like clouds. So take a two by four plate uh, to attach some to. Have two going down, two going up. And then in the center, connect all four. And then have one hanging off of each side. And then back here, do one more. Uh, build two clouds that are like that. 
and put those aside. And then we're going to build one cloud that's slightly different, but basically the same. Uh, so this is going to have a two by six plate and then two hanging down, two going up, one off to each side. Come in through the center and connecting in the middle. So should have three clouds now. Cloud, cloud, cloud. Okay, now to attach some clouds. So we're gonna take one of the smaller clouds, flip it like this, and attach it on this side. So there's a little bit of it that hangs over on the curtain. You could put some putty there uh, if you want to attach it a little bit better to the curtain. This piece does tend to fall off pretty easily. Uh, but some putty can help with that. On the other side, we're gonna take the similar small cloud and connect it like so, I think. And up top, I'm gonna do this cloud here for now. I might adjust those clouds in a moment. As promised, I have returned with a cloud adjustment. So remember how I said this cloud was built like this? That was wrong. So let's take it apart and shift everything over one on that two by four plate so that now the two by four connects through there. And then this will go on here. And this plate will almost go all the way to connecting to the curtain over here. Again, some putty behind this plate will keep it from falling off all the time. I don't know why two by two round plates are so bad at connecting to each other, but they are very fall aparty sometimes. Now let's build the sun. So I chose to build the sun in the color bright light orange. Um, it's somewhere between yellow, which is here, and orange, which is here. Um, there's not a lot of pieces in this color. It's a great color for Bowser or tails if you're looking for super accurate colors for them, but hard to build in. It's also a great color for this sun, uh, looks pretty accurate to the sun in the trailer, and um, it's different enough from Chica that it's uh, a good contrast. So, four by four plate in that. Put a cylinder brick smack in the middle of that. Color doesn't matter for that. Then we're gonna take some one by four plates in bright light orange, a some circle plates in whatever color, some one by one tiles. Uh, I'm using orange, you could also use yellow. Doesn't matter super much, but build six of these little doohickeys here. Kind of center two of them in between these four studs here. So those are the tricky ones to get on. The other ones will go here, 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 and here. And kind of adjust them so the rays are all shooting out nice ways and take a four by four radar dish to cover it all up. And it should be a pretty nice solid construction. To attach the sun, we're gonna look for that one lonely stud sticking out there. That's gonna go basically smack dab in the middle of our four by four plate, or maybe not. Maybe it'll go somewhere thereabouts. Uh, just stick the sun thereabouts. I'm not exactly sure what connection it, I'm not exactly sure what connection it's using on the back, but it's staying in place and that's all that matters. Uh, and then you can readjust the rays on the sun. This one has to go up a little bit because it hits those clouds, but those are in nice position. Okay, now let's build some speakers. Start with a two by four brick in black. On top of that, do a one by two Technic brick and then some one by two bricks to fill in that layer. Next layer up will be another two by four brick, then a two by four plate, then another layer with a one by two Technic brick and three one by two bricks. And to top it off, we'll do two by four plate and cover it up with tiles. I'm using two one by fours, but there's a variety of ways you could cover that up. And then for the dishes, for the speakers, you'll want to use some dishes. So a three by three radar dish. Uh, those come nicely in this silver color. 
and a 2x2 radar dish, which come nicely in this light gray color. Um, these also could be dark gray. Um, they exist in those sizes in that color. Um, and you'll build two of those speakers. Okay, time to finish this off. So to add the speakers on the stage, I usually just put a clear one by one plate in the bottom there and then kind of stick them in the back corner. That allows you to kind of twist them at whatever angle you want since they're kind of at a diagonal angle, but it isn't the most secure connection. So you could come up with a different way to connect them on multiple studs. Uh, you could, for instance, use a turntable under them and maybe some tiles. Um, but for right now, I just like using the clear studs. And then uh, you should follow my instructions on how to build action figure scale Chica, Bonnie, and Freddy, and we'll attach them. So I'm going to put their legs together and use a 1x2 clear plate underneath to attach them. You could also have their feet out and use some 1x1 clear studs in different feet if you want them in more dynamic positions, but uh, since these are not the most stable characters, I find legs together is a nice way to get them up and not in danger of falling over. All right, do Freddy and Bonnie. Uh, and you can play around with uh, how you want to position them. And there you have it, the action figure size show stage from Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to Brick 101, and check out all my other Five Nights at Freddy's videos.